what is Bitcoin and why is it so valuable? Well, let's just dive right in here and answer the question, what is Bitcoin? And in very simple terms, Bitcoin is the first digital currency that allows person to person transactions without uh, banks or any other third party. And to make this clear, you know, before Bitcoin, if we have, you know, one person, let's say we have person A, and this person A wants to send money to person B. Before Bitcoin, it was not possible for person A to send the money directly to person B. Because in order to do this, we first have to send the money to a third party. We can call this third party C. And this third party would be, uh, you know, ba a bank or other financial institution, maybe something like PayPal or something like that. But in order for person A to send money to person B, it first needs to send money to this bank. The bank will then double check that uh, person A has enough money and double check that everything is correct. And when the bank knows that everything is cor correct, it confirms the transaction and sends it to be here. But the amazing thing about Bitcoin is that with Bitcoin, we don't need to first send the money to the bank. We can actually send the money directly from person A to person B. And this is what we call a person to person transaction or peer to peer transaction. And this is actually an amazing uh, innovation because before Bitcoin, this was not possible to do, or it was actually possible to do. But the only way to do this was to use physical cash, right? So if person A wants to buy something from person B, he can do that if he uses cash, but he couldn't do it digitally. And that is why many, uh, many people call Bitcoin the first uh, sort of digital cash. I think that was what uh, the, the creator of Bitcoin actually called it. And we will talk about that more later. But all right, so the next thing we need to know here is that Bitcoin uses three key technologies to work. And the first technology here is blockchain. Uh, blockchain is a word you have probably heard about. It was very hyped up before many people talked about uh, that blockchain will you know, be super important in the future and will be in many things. But still in 2025, as I'm recording this video, the main use case for blockchain is Bitcoin. And I believe this will continue to be the case for a very long time. And when you look at blockchain, it can be very complicated if you dive deep. But on the surface, it's actually pretty simple. A blockchain is basically a public record of all transactions. So it, you can think about it as a list of transactions or in other words, a digital ledger, then this list will be sort of uh, be, will be put into different blocks. But in general, I think the best way to think about blockchain as a beginner is just a list of transactions. But we can't just have a list of transactions because we need to make the network secure. And in order to secure the network, we use something called cryptography. Once again, cryptography can be very complicated in it if you dive deep, but on the surface level, you can think about it as sort of advanced uh, encryption or advanced mathematics that helps to make Bitcoin more secure and helps to you know, make the transactions between parties more secure. But we actually need even more security. And this is where mining comes in. You might have heard about Bitcoin mining, and this is actually a process where computers solve complex puzzles, or you can think about it as complex mathematical uh, equations, if you will. And this is also used to validate transactions and secure the network. And the reason we use mining here is because in order for a hacker to actually, uh, you know, steal Bitcoin or perhaps, you know, spend Bitcoin twice or change uh, some of the transactions in order for a hacker to do this, the hacker needs to spend more energy than the rest of the network combined. And that 
uh, that's the reason why the more energy that Bitcoin uses, the more secure the network becomes. So we need mining and this is super important. But now you might, might wonder, why would any miners spend so much energy just protecting the network? They, they must gain something from that, right? And yes, that is very true. Because as a reward for mining, the computers that uh, do this mining earns Bitcoin. And this is where the name mining comes from, because it's very similar to gold mining, right? When you uh, mine gold, you need to spend energy to get your gold that you then can you know, sell or maybe hold for the future. The same thing is true for Bitcoin. You need to spend energy to get your Bitcoin. Uh, so that is how gold mining and Bitcoin mining uh, is pretty similar in that uh, respect. But now, and this is very important, when was Bitcoin created and by who? Well, Bitcoin was created all the way back in 2009 by someone or maybe a group called Satoshi Nakamoto. This is a fascinating thing about Bitcoin is that we still don't know who created it. And Bitcoin, and one thing that makes Bitcoin so uh, unique and so valuable today is how it was created. Because Bitcoin was actually started in a very small email community. It was like 10 people in the beginning. And since then, Bitcoin has been growing and growing completely freely uh, on the free market. So Bitcoin has never had, you know, a marketing team or it has never needed anyone to, to you know, promote it. It has basically been growing uh, automatically. It has been slowly and steadily just been growing and growing. And today it has, you know, a market cap of like a trillion dollars. It's a fascinating, uh, you know, fascinating journey Bitcoin has been through. But all right, so now when we have a basic understanding of what Bitcoin is, now the next question you probably have is why is Bitcoin valuable? How can Bitcoin be worth so much? As I'm recording this video, Bitcoin is worth around, you know, $85,000. And it was not long ago, it was worth, you know, $100,000. And this is per Bitcoin. Uh, and the total value, as I said, is like a, a, a trillion, a trillion dollars. But how is this possible? How can it be worth so much? And the first reason here why Bitcoin is so valuable is scarcity. The max number of Bitcoins that can ever be created is 21 million. There's never possible to create more than this. And this makes Bitcoin scarce, or in other words, it makes it rare. And if you think about it, what make many things valuable? For example, gold. What makes gold so valuable? Well, one of the main reasons is that gold is all also scarce. It's hard to find gold. There's, there's only a certain amount of gold uh, in the earth, and it's also a very sort of uh, hard process to actually get the gold. But you can also think about other rare items. You know, maybe you can think about uh, I don't know if you are playing games, you know that in games, there tends to be different uh, sort of rarity of items. So let's say you have a super rare item in a game, that item is usually very hard to find and there's only a limited amount of that item. Uh, you can also think about real world stuff. So maybe you are maybe you are sort of collecting, you know, sports cards or I don't know, Pokemon cards or something like that. The most valuable cards would be the cards that we have very few of. So scarcity is one of the main reasons that Bitcoin is so valuable. And it's very important to mention here that Bitcoin cannot be inflated like government currencies. And to explain this, I want you guys to take a look at this chart right here. This right here is a chart of the M2 money supply. And that is basically just a fancy word for how many dollars exist. So how many do total dollars do we have? And as you can see on this chart, the amount of dollars since, you know, pretty much the beginning of the US dollar has just been increasing and increasing and increasing. So this right here is the opposite of scarcity because increasing the amount of dollars doesn't do 
anything to uh, the real things that we have in the world. The only thing that increasing the amount of dollars actually does is that it makes the dollars, uh, your dollars able to buy fewer things. So this right here is a big reason people are buying Bitcoin. Your dollars are losing value every single day. So yeah, the second reason, and this was pretty much what I talked about, is protection from inflation. So as countries print more and more money, Bitcoin serves as a store of value. So a store of value here is basically something that can hold on to its value over time. So for example, a, uh, the US dollar is an example of something that is definitely not a store of value. Because if you hold $100,000 right now and then wait, say, 10 years, in 10 years, your $100,000 will be able to buy much less things uh, relative to what it can buy today. But because there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin, Bitcoin works in the sort of opposite direction. So if you guys quickly take a look at this chart, on this chart, what you can see here is the Bitcoin supply. So how many Bitcoins do we have? The orange line here is the amount of Bitcoin and the uh, blue line is how much Bitcoin is left to mine. And as you can see, this chart pretty much looks uh, like the opposite of the chart we previously looked like. You can see that the growth of Bitcoin here is getting slower and slower and slower over time while the growth here of the US dollar is in the opposite direction. So the US dollar and Bitcoin is pretty much in opposite relationship. Another very big reason what makes Bitcoin valuable is that it allows for global transfers without restrictions. So this relates back to what we talked about earlier. You can send Bitcoin from one person to another without having to uh, tell a third party about your transaction. So let's take this as an extreme uh, example. But let's say we have a country that blocks payments. Think of maybe, you know, North Korea. Let's say that for some reason the bank in North Korea doesn't allow me to send uh, money to someone living there. Well, if we use uh, US dollar, we are out of luck because we can't do anything. We can't send uh, the US dollar from one person to, to another. But if we use Bitcoin, we can sell Bitcoin directly uh, as long as that person have internet access. And this, you know, in some countries like North Korea, they might even restrict uh, internet access, but it's still a much more reliable method. All right, so last but definitely not least here, a big reason why Bitcoin is so valuable is simply freedom. Because people highly value being able to control their own money. Because money is such a big part of, you know, basically your, your freedom. So if you can't control your money, are you even really free? This is a question worth, worth uh, you know, considering. Uh, and that is, you know, in, at least in my opinion, one big reason why so many people are drawn to Bitcoin. They want to be able to spend money uh, to who they want and whenever they want. They, they don't want a bank to be able to say, no, you can't spend money on this or you can't spend money on that. So freedom is a big reason why Bitcoin has become so valuable. But there are, of course, many other reasons as well. And all reasons are valid. But all right, guys, so I really hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you guys are sort of interested and curious in starting to trade crypto, uh, I actually have a full crypto trading course right here on YouTube. So make sure to check that one out if you want to start actually trading crypto. But for now, take care. Ciao, ciao.